CI Living, at home in your community. The pandemic has brought mental health to the forefront. It affects people of all ages, including our teens. And now a local police department and business owner are encouraging people to talk about teen depression. Joining me now, Roxanne Street, a local boutique owner, and Sergeant Christina Reefsteck with the Rancho Police Department. So welcome back to both of you. Thank you. Let's talk a little bit about how you two, a boutique owner, and someone with the police force, <laughs> have kind of teamed up and partnered up to help out the community. Well, our love story started when we were five years old and we were best friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so it was easy to naturally gravitate uh, back together again. And now this time we get to do something more for the community. Mm -hmm. So Roxanne posted something on Facebook several months ago about having a family member that was suffering with some depression issues. And all of a sudden, that post that she put out there solicited a lot of response. And all of a sudden, you're starting to see that a lot of people were not feeling the same thing. Mm -hmm. So I kind of suggested you have a venue at your boutique. What if we host something and we get together and we kind of discuss and educate everybody who is affected by this and everybody is affected by depression in some form or fashion, right? But mm -hmm. our teens, it's really heavy. And the burden is a little bit more difficult for the parents because they really want to help. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want to do. You want to help Absolutely. And, and make a difference with our yes. teens and the community. So let's talk a little bit about what you guys have planned and come up with. What are you going to do to help? Okay, so we, we, when we come together, it's like brainstorming 101. It just goes crazy. There's fireworks. <laughs> but we have to rein ourselves in. And so for this particular event, we are going to bring in a panel of experts, which we are going to do at a, each one. But this, this one in particular, we've got... Um, a couple different. We've got an MSW who's a therapist, and she's well known in the area. Fabulous, um, Gina Johnson. She will be there. We also have a nutri or dietitian who's going to come and talk about how nutrition and just what we feed our body, how that affects us in, in all ways, mental and physical. Um, Regina Kreider, and she's going to come, and she is the executive director of the Alliance. She's great. In Rantoul. And Erin Tarr, who's a confidence coach for teens, and she's like a cheerleader. I mean, she is just a ball of fire. And so we're going to break off into breakout sessions, one for the teens and one for the parents. And we're hoping to just give everybody a little recharge and some, some tools to take with them and so we can go out into the world and kind of deal with this together. Um, parenting is hard. And oh my gosh. I mean, I know. I have been one to say that over and over again. And there is no, there's no guilt or shame in that. You know, we have to, we have to really come together and deal with these types of things together. Yeah, so. you think parenting is hard when they're little and then they hit the teen years and you're like, oh wow, this is a whole yeah. new, new world yeah. of, of hard. Yes. Um, so I, you kind of answered a question I was thinking, this is geared for teens and adults. Yes. Yeah, we're definitely encouraging both to come. And we will cater to the the crowd as a whole initially, but then we are going to break out into two different sessions. So. Yeah, these are kind of tough conversations mm -hmm. um, to kind of have in general. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that's great that you're breaking them apart. So maybe the teens might feel more comfortable not having mom or right. dad listen to right. maybe some of that stuff. I don't know. Yeah, and we are just going to kind of scratch the surface, I feel like, tomorrow night. So it's going to be um, uh, just where we go in and we figure out what tools we can give these people so that it's not necessarily diving into specific issues. Um, and then we're going to let them take that back with them. Yeah, okay, let's talk a little bit about the, the Rental Police For You initiative because this seems like a great outreach as well. So we decided last year that we wanted to dedicate um, and, and start a whole new unit about crisis intervention and community support. And so we took myself off the road and now I'm in charge of that. So we do have a social worker and then we have a grant funded social worker and what we do is we deal with all the crisis intervention calls either during or after those calls. And so um, we kind of have a clientele base that we work with and, uh, you know, we want to be able to kind of intercept some things that, you know, 
give them some life skills, give them some resources that they can use, and maybe you wouldn't have those police contacts. Maybe it gives them better coping skills. And part of what we are doing too on the community outreach is linking up with people like Roxanne and um, just kind of broadening what we think law enforcement can do. And so that's uh, essentially what we're trying to accomplish. Well, we wish you the best of luck, and we hope that you're able to reach some people who may need that extra support um, during some challenging times. Remind everybody when and where it is and how they can participate. Tuesday night. Tuesday night, the 21st, uh, at my store, 107 North Kentucky Avenue. It is in the old train station in downtown Rantoul. Uh, we'll be in the back. That's, there's a big room back there, and everyone is welcome to attend. It is a free event. The more the merrier. And again, we're going to continue this. So whatever, if, if you would like to reach out to us with any concerns or anything that you'd like to have discussed, then we're open to any suggestions okay. that everyone may have. Well, good luck, and we appreciate the work that you're both doing um, to, yeah. to change lives and make a difference here in our community. If you want to learn a little bit more about these events that are being hosted there in Rantoul, we will definitely get you connected over at our website, ciliving.tv.